everyone, my name is Janika and welcome to this video. It is currently 4 a.m. and I am at the bus stop of Bukaramanga. This wasn't the start of the video I had in mind, but I thought might as well start it already. So we are on our way to a little town called Sanjil and our journey started from Medellin and then we now have a transfer in Bukaramanga and then our next bus will take us to Sanjil. However, <laughs> We had a bit of a crazy bus driver. We have arrived to the bus stop two and a half hours too early. It is in fact at the moment 4 a.m. or actually now it's already 4.30 a.m. and our transfer isn't until 7 a.m. It was only supposed to be a half an hour transfer at, from 6.30 to 7 a.m. You know, a comfortable time. We could get a proper night's sleep, but no, we had an absolutely crazy bus driver who was speeding the whole way and at one point when I went to the bathroom I literally flew out from the toilet. Road was very windy and he was driving very very fast. I was just putting my pants on when I just flew <laughs> against the toilet door and it was locked. It was like such a hard impact that it opened and I flew out and yeah I think I might be getting a bruise on my arm or something. But um, yeah we're gonna chill down here at this bus stop and try and see if we could find an even earlier bus. We have now finally arrived to St. Jill and checked into our hostel. We got a huge briefing on all the things that you can do here. There's a lot, so yeah, we need to pick and choose a bit, but you can go rafting, you can go canyoneering, you can go down a waterfall, you can go to different caves, you can go paragliding, bungee jumping, to these natural pools, to different towns nearby. There's, there's a lot. So I don't think we're gonna be bored here, but first let's check out this hostel and have something to eat. We've decided that now for breakfast, we're just gonna eat here at the hostel because why not? We're tired and it's just the easiest option and it's not very expensive either. They seem to have some quite nice options here. I think I'm gonna go for hmm, either this one or that one. So waffles with eggs and some side dishes. Last night's bus ride has completely destroyed me. Like usually I'm quite fine after a night bus ride. I managed to sleep a bit and I'm just a bit tired the next day. But yeah, last night I think I slept just a few, few hours. And yeah, I don't know, I'm so tired and I've been trying to take a nap now for hours without any success. I have an awful headache and stuff, but oh well. I'm now gonna go and take a dip in the pool and I'm hoping that would refresh me a little bit and maybe make me feel better. Oh, big steps. <laughs> oh, that feels good. way too tired to go to like a proper restaurant so we came to this shopping mall to eat where they have this big food court and I ordered myself some fried rice look at it it's a huge portion it looks so good and also got myself this apple soda I think it's like a local thing I've had it a few times now and it's really really good I recommend trying if you ever come here Wow, that's really a lot of flavor. Super good. Good morning. Last night, 
finally got some proper sleep. I think I slept like more than 10 hours, so I'm feeling much, much better. But um, yeah, I'm just having breakfast. I'm having the same one as I had yesterday. And then soon today, I'm gonna be doing something super, super excited. I'm gonna be checking off a big bucket list item for myself. First, some breakfast. have arrived to our destination and it is fun because we have a small group doing it don't have to do it alone so what I'm about to do is that I'm gonna go paragliding I have never done that before but I've always wanted to do it and yeah now when seeing where we're gonna do it starting to get a little bit nervous if I'm completely honest Firstly, we have a form to fill. You need to know your blood type and your insurance company. In order to go paragliding, it is very much necessary that you have a good travel insurance company. Personally, the travel insurance company that I use is called Safety Wing. And from them, I have the Nomad insurance package. And personally, my experience with them has been very positive. I think that their website is very simple and easy to use. You can easily choose what kind of deal suits you the best personally i've added the adventure sports package to my travel insurance because yeah i love to do things like paragliding but if you love to do things like paragliding it is very important that you have good travel insurance something you should never forget when going traveling so if you're maybe planning on going on a trip or if you're a nomad already living somewhere else then i would definitely recommend checking out a safety wing and their nomad insurance to do that you can check it out through this QR code and I'll also be sharing the link in my description. Welcome to the Chicamocha Canyon. My name is Maria and now I'm going to explain the activity, okay? It's very easy. Maybe you can feel a little loose but it's because you need to run and after you need to sit down. And if it's very shiny, you can move, okay? Currently just chilling and waiting but I think <laughs> soon it will be my turn to go. Don't mind the fact this is like the most unflattering footage of me ever. But to be honest, in the moment, I wasn't really thinking about, hmm, I better look good. I was more thinking about, hmm, I hope I don't die. Oh, boy. It wasn't too bad at all. I really enjoyed it. It was chill and nice and beautiful views. How was it? It was really nice. Yeah, good. I feel fine. Yeah, I enjoyed it. I did. I did. <laughs> Feeling good. We are on our way 
to the next spot of the day, but on the way we've stopped by this little fruit marketplace and we're being treated to some drinks. This is some kind of tropical juice mix. Let's try it out. Mm. Oh, that's really nice, really nice and fresh. The whole group that we're with has decided not to go back to San Gil yet. We have stopped by a little town called Kukuru Kukuri. <laughs> I don't remember, I'll write it here. What was it? What? Kuri, Kuriti. And we're gonna have some lunch first and then we're gonna be taking some tuk-tuks to these natural pools that are close by. So we are now on our way to these natural pools. We first took a tuk-tuk from that little town and then you could choose, the tuk-tuk took you like halfway. So you could choose to pay more or to walk the last bit. And our group has decided to walk the last bit. It's a really beautiful place though. Like we're walking in the midst of a river. We're now gonna be swimming in these natural pools over here. Looks so nice. Oh, cold. Whoa, it's this deep. It's standing. It's quite deep. Like until here, it looks much more shallow. It's a lot of fish too. Like tiny, tiny fish. today's activity we have come to some waterfalls and yeah we just took a bus from San Gil took maybe 20 minutes and now we've arrived or I think we have to walk for a little bit but um yeah excited to see some waterfalls yeah. Yeah, actually Colombia is like very famous for the variety of yeah, birds About to take a dip, but apparently the water is super, super cold. So let's see. Oh, holy moly, it's cold! Oh. Oh. I am going on the cold one in my. Can I? Okay. Can I do like this? Sure. Can I make a video of myself? Sure. <laughs> you don't mind being visible. <laughs> super cold, but refreshing at least, and very beautiful. Today's plan is that we're gonna be doing a day trip to another town that's nearby. It's called Barichara and apparently it is really really beautiful. Some people even claim it to be the most beautiful town of Colombia, but we'll see if that's true. And um, yeah, to get there we first need to go to the bus terminal. There's two bus terminals here in San Gil. There's like a big one where all the buses to like bigger major cities goes. That's where we also arrived when we came here. But in order to go to this little town we need to go to a bus 
station Terminalito and yeah it's about a one kilometer walk from our hostel there and yeah from there we should be able to jump on a bus and head to Barichara. First spot of the day we have now come to a paper museum. I know it sounds a bit random but apparently it is a must visit here in Barichara. For a small entrance fee of 15,000 pesos we got given a short tour over the place in Spanish. During the tour we were shown the process of how handmade paper is made and we even got to try it for ourselves. This town is definitely super, super beautiful, but it's also really, really hot. I feel like it's hotter here than what it was in San Gil. Luckily, there's a bit of a breeze, so that makes it a bit more bearable. Now, at the moment, we are walking towards a lunch spot that was recommended to us by our hostel. We have found our way to the lunch spot. Oh my goodness, the views from here are so beautiful. And also the menu looks really good and the prices also seem fair. It's a little boy's birthday here next to us and we got some birthday cake as well. It's very coloring. It's really good. I'm just so full. <laughs> Well, I can confirm that lunch place was really, really nice. I'm so full now though, especially after that birthday cake. And my tongue and stuff are still all blue. I tried cleaning it, but yeah, I feel like I would need like a toothbrush and everything. <laughs> and it will take a while, but um, yeah. Next up, uh, we are going to a cemetery. I know our places we're visiting here might sound a bit weird, but these are really the places that are apparently the things to do here. And yeah, this cemetery is also one of them. So to the cemetery we go. What makes this cemetery special is that here you can find the work of a local stone carver. You can find different religious pieces and also carvings that represent the people who have passed away, showcasing their line of work or personality. just checked out from our hostel as today is our last day here in San Gil. But before heading to the next spot, we have one more place that we want to visit here in San Gil, and that's this park that's literally right next to our hostel. Yeah, supposedly it is very, very beautiful. I think there's a small entrance fee as well to get there. I think it's a bit like almost like a botanical garden or something. Today we felt like doing something a bit more chill. Let's go and check out this park and see if it is truly as beautiful as we've been told. The entrance fee 
The entrance fee was 7,000 pesos per person, so less than like two euros. Already now by the entrance, it looks really, really beautiful. Oh wow, I didn't know that, but there's like two different pools here. I don't know if you have to pay an extra fee for that or not. Yeah, this looks really nice. If I would have known about it, I would have maybe considered coming for a dip because, yeah, it's beautiful. There's also a really cute looking coffee shop here. So if you fancy a coffee, you can have it here amongst all of this nature. So nice. So we were really tempted from the swimming pools because they look so, so nice. But we asked, it would be 5,000 extra if you want to use the swimming pool, which is not bad at all. But if you have long hair like me, you would need to wear a swimming cap and you would also have to pay extra for that. They said you could borrow one for 3,000 pesos. But I'm not sure if I'm willing to use a swimming cap. Please don't mind my very sweaty looking face. It's a very hot day today. But yeah, we decided to come to our own pool instead. What was nice with that pool was that it was in the shade because it was under all those trees and our pool is right in the sun at the moment but um yeah i can't stay too long or i'll probably burn but i just have to take a dip right now i i really need it <laughs> oh it feels so good i have to wear a cap too so i will burn otherwise even if i have sunscreen well we are soon about to head to the bus station where we'll be taking a night bus to the next place which is santa marta so next up we're going basically to the caribbean coast of colombia can't wait to be spending some time at the beach for the next couple of weeks we have several different destinations where we'll be going but i'm gonna be ending this vlog here i hope you have enjoyed it if you did remember to give this video a thumbs up and remember to also subscribe to my channel to join the journey i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll see you guys again on my next adventure bye bye <laughs>